Florentino Perez was re-elected Real Madrid president on Monday. And by re-elected, I mean that nobody stood against him. It's going to be two decades that he has been Real Madrid president. And everybody expected him to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo's future in his presidential speech. He didn't speak about it then, but speaking to Spanish radio station Onda Cero after the presidential ceremony, whatever it was, he offered updates on Cristiano Ronaldo, Alvaro Morata and Manchester United, James Rodriguez and David De Gea. Here is what he had to say about all of these players. First things first, Cristiano Ronaldo. This is what he had to say because obviously Ronaldo is, well, according to reports, he said he wants to leave Real Madrid. That's exploded over the last 72 hours. But this is what Florentino Perez had to say about it. He said, I do not want to draw conclusions. I know Cristiano, he's a great guy and a professional. All this is very strange. I've not spoken to him since the Champions League final in Cardiff. I've heard everything through the newspapers. Nor I, nor anyone at Madrid is contemplating that Cristiano could leave the club. We are all very relaxed about this. I have not spoken to any other clubs. That is a very expected response from Perez because nobody at Real Madrid will even contemplate selling Cristiano Ronaldo. That's not the story. The story is that Ronaldo himself is contemplating leaving Real Madrid. And it all revolves around this tax situation. So while Real Madrid have no intention of selling Ronaldo, that will never change. It's all down to whether Ronaldo himself wants to leave. And of course, in a transfer, a club has to want to sell a player and a player wants to leave because when Ronaldo left Man United, we got one more year out of him. But I'm not saying that Real Madrid are going to get one more year out of him. I'm just saying that even if Real Madrid don't want to sell him, it, it might not just be up to them. The main premise of the story is Ronaldo and these tax accusations. And this is what Perez had to say about that. He said, what happened to him has affected his credibility. He will surely tell us and we will see what happens. The tax issue I do not know well. Our obligation is to comply with tax duties. The principle is that, and Cristiano has always had the will to fulfill them because I know him as a person. He has to fulfill his fiscal obligations like everybody. His lawyers have said that he has never hidden anything and I believe in his credibility. If there is no concealment, there is no bad faith. And his lawyers say there has been no concealment, so there is no will to cheat. And I think Florentino Perez has hit the nail on the head there. Because this tax accusation and allegations has nothing to do with the 15 million euro fine. Ronaldo made four times as much as that last year alone. He can pay that. It's the damage it's going to do to his credibility and the brand CR7. That's his, his life. That's him. That's why he doesn't want to be damaged by these accusations. And I, I hesitate to think that even if this whole situation comes out rosy, Ronaldo's found completely innocent, some damage would have been done to it, whether that be a small bit of damage or a big bit of damage. But the overall conclusion we can draw from these comments by Perez is that Real Madrid have no intention of selling Ronaldo. We all knew that anyway. And it sounds like they're going to try and help Ronaldo as much as possible in terms of fulfilling these obligations to the tax man. That doesn't mean that they're going to pay the money, doesn't mean that they can make the tax man go away, but maybe that's what Ronaldo wants them to do. And maybe that's why the pressure is being put on Real Madrid to make the tax man go away. But they are the official updates on Ronaldo from Perez. But it's not just Ronaldo that he's been talking about. According to Perez, there has been no bids for Cristiano Ronaldo, Alvaro Morata or James Rodriguez. This is what he had to say about that. He said, no one has made us a single offer, not for Ronaldo, not for Morata and not for Rodriguez. Now that goes in contrast to the reports that we've been seeing. The Man United have had a 52.4 million bid for Morata turned down and that we put in a 60 million second bid offer. So if Man United haven't put in any offers, what's going on? Maybe it's, has it all been invented by the press or is Perez just keeping his cards close to his chest? Now in an update from Fabrizio Romano, obviously part of Gianluca Di Marzio's staff, the man that we know and trust as far as Man United transfer rumours are concerned, he's saying the exact same thing. Man United have agreed terms with Morata and they are in talks with Real Madrid to find that fee. Whether that's 52.4 million, 60 million, or the more towards a 70, 80 million pounds mark that Real Madrid want. It's just a case of finding that magic figure that Real Madrid agree with and that Man United agree with. And it's a long negotiation uh, because it's a player that Real Madrid don't want to sell. The Ronaldo stuff's complicated it and the De Gea stuff complicated it from the very start. But it's moving in the right direction. But according to Perez, there's not been any bids at all. 
And I suppose I'm not too surprised about the James Rodriguez ones. They have very much quietened down. Doesn't look like we're making any sort of advances for Rodriguez. Not, not that that means that we're definitely not going to sign him this summer, but Morata is clearly the priority for Jose Mourinho and Ed Woodward at the moment. And unfortunately for Rodriguez, it's left him on the sidelines. But there's a definitely a good update on the David De Gea situation. It really does sound like Real Madrid have given up on the prospect of signing David De Gea. Here is what Perez had to say on the De Gea situation. He said, we haven't spoken to De Gea. The last time I spoke to him was the failed move in 2015 when that happened. Two years ago, we had an issue and then the appropriate circumstances didn't rise. The players are very fond of Keylor Navas and also Zinedine Zidane. I love Navas. Now, I'm going to take great pleasure in saying this. Fuck you, Real Madrid. Because for years, they have been taking Man United's best players away from the club. You look at Beckham, Van Nistelrooy, they're the two main ones, obviously Ronaldo too. Circumstances were around those players, but I wasn't happy about any of them leaving or any of them joining Real Madrid. Now we've got De Gea. They tried to sign him two years ago. They failed. And now they're going to have to stick with Navas, who, you know, is a great goalkeeper, but he's not David De Gea. So it is so, so satisfying to see Real Madrid sitting there and they want a player from United. They're not going to get him. It looks like De Gea is staying and that is a massive, massive boost for Man United going into the rest of this transfer window. But that is the update on Ronaldo, on Morata, on Rodriguez and De Gea. Some happy news, some slightly not happy news. But what do you think about all the updates? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gentlemen. And subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.